Welcome to the channel. I am laid way back and I usually do fight videos or character guides, but uh, today I'm going to switch it up a bit. You already seen the title, you already seen the thumbnail, and uh, I'm going to say it anyways. Today I'm going to do the top 5 greedy buffs I want for Jacko. Uh, 2HS for uh, overhead for Jacko would be very powerful as we can do a close slash and then an overhead afterwards if it were an overhead or we could just do the 2D instead. So typically after you make contact with your opponent they generally start blocking low so the overhead would probably hit more than most most times and when they get used to that then we'd just be able to go into our 2D which makes this very strong for Jacko. Also, if our 2HS was a heavy slash, we could really uh, torture our opponents like really bad, right? So we could have a minion behind him, and then, oh, he blocked that, minion attack. Go low, minion attack, you know? It'd be really hard to block against, like very hard. So <laughs> I think I might make her broken. So that's why this is lowest on my list, because it's like least likely to happen, because it would make her stupid broken. And then there's uh, something else you'd be able to do. Now, if you've seen me play Jacko, you know when I get my opponent in, my, in the corner, I, I usually throw the, uh, the minion so they have to block it. And then I usually go for a grab. Because it comes so quick and it's really hard for them to, to, to guess against that unless they know it's coming. Now imagine if they had to worry about a grab, an overhead, and a low. That would make her extremely broken. Now this is something I've seen like uh, the the two HS overhead something I see a lot in the in comments or in the live stream, but I wouldn't complain if we got it. But I think that might make Jacko way too broken. Although you know I I wouldn't it wouldn't bother me it wouldn't bother me at all I'm a little biased. I would like Jacko to have full gauge at the beginning of the fight because when you get somebody in a like say a hard knockdown like right at the beginning of the fight then you get like a, a shorter combo like like for instance if not Nagoro Yuki hits you at the at the beginning of the fight he can do a full combo take you all the way to the wall and take half your health like I'm not saying Jacko should be able to do that but here let me let me give you an example make it normal so I, whenever I said it, I have to do it like I have to do the sweep like exactly at the beginning, like at the beginning of the fight. So if I'm going for a combo, I can't do a second minion attack. Oh, to the right. See the gauge? I can't do a second minion attack. So I can only get like a, a half combo if I get a knockdown at the beginning of the fight. And um, I I don't really like that. I don't really like that. Also, what I would like with the minion gauge is for for faster regeneration. Not like super fast, but let's say, um, I'll show you what I mean. You see how it takes a, a while for the minion, the, the gauge to start up again? So you do one minion attack and it stops for a second and then goes. I'm thinking, how about it doesn't stop? Like, I know we already have an overdrive for this. So it, like it's really fast, but I'm just saying, how about we just get rid of the pause? Like as soon as we do the minion attack, maybe the startup of the gauge goes faster. And I don't know, I feel like that would just feel really good on Jacko. I know it's probably not going to happen because we have the overdrive, but honestly, I don't really care. I want it anyway. And my last point on the minion gauge on why we need more fast regeneration is because like we need the firepower. Why? Because they just slap away our minions when we throw them. <laughs> and it feels really bad that you just use the meter and it just knocks it away with ease. It, it, it almost feels like it's not even a projectile. The overdrive, man. The overdrive. How could I not mention the overdrive? Now, I know with Eno, She's airborne, 
But when you try to over overdrive her and she's right in your face and the overdrive misses, it just feels bad because she's right in your face. Now I already know the properties of a grab is you, you gotta have your feet on the ground in order to get the grab. So if they're doing like air stuff, it's not gonna land. I get that and I get that the overdrive is, is a grab. But still, how about just change it to an, an arc? Like the, the hitbox is an arc. So if they're within that arc, then they will get grabbed, you know? I don't feel like that's asking for too much. But it just feels bad with Eno's in your face and you can't use your overdrive to, to stop her from doing what she does. And if you're not gonna change the properties of the grab, like I understand that because because I know it's an overdrive, but it's still a grab and your, your feet should be on the ground. I get that. So I can't really be mad at that. It just means that her, her overdrive may be a little weaker than others. But we can at least get rid of this. That just shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> that shouldn't be allowed. I say the overdrive should like overwrite the command grab. That just feels ridiculous, man. That, that should not happen. I don't like that. I don't know if you guys have ever been in that position, but it feels bad. It just feels bad, and that should be changed. That that second part does not feel greedy at all. That should be changed. Now, this next one's gonna be a little different. Uh, t take a look at Jackal's grab. See how she pops him into the air? Now I know when the DLC came out, you know, and we were, we're in the, you're in the training room with Jacko. I know it, it crossed your mind to throw a minion behind him and grab him and do a minion attack, right? Because it just looks like it was made for that. I mean, she pops him into the air. It just looks like it was meant to, to combo. And even if you could combo it, right? Check it out. Oh. <laughs> It's not even that much damage, you know? It, it, the damage is not that crazy. So I don't see why they could implement something like that. Just, just let her be able to, to cancel her, her grab. And I know other characters can't do it, but I don't know. I think it'd be a great addition to Jacko. So why not? And an honorable mention before we get to the top buff I want. Why not more damage? I mean, let's say we hit a slash. I mean, what are we gonna do? Hit, a, hit our heavy slash? Or do a, do something like this, you know? The, 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 even a, a close slash, it's not that much damage. Like look look look, look who we're up against. Oh, that that was a close slash. It's like, look at that damage compared to compared to what we do. This is nothing compared to what Soul can do and what other characters can do when they just land something. You know, we need a lot of setup to do our damage. So why not just give us a just give us a little more? Even if it's minuscule, just just give us a little more. If you watch the channel, you already know what the last one was that I wanted for a buff, and that's a safe 2D. For that reason right there, the more people who find out that they can use a overdrive off of the sweep of Jacko, the the <laughs> the lower, what's the word, the, the worse off she gets, you know? So we can do a 2k the sweep, we get overdrived. We can do the kick afterwards, servant shoot, we get overdrive. We want to pick up a minion, overdrive. We can even drop it. As you see, it's hard to notice, but I did drop the minion just at the last second. So like, for a buff, like even that, right? That if you drop your minion, you can immediately block afterwards, like immediately. Because there's a little moment where you can't after you drop it. If they switch, switch it to that, then like the more skillful jackals will be able to block after that. And you know, I can accept that. Now one thing you may not know, if you do the 2D at max range, like just the tip of it, then you'll be able to block, but it has to be right at the tip. So even if it's like close to the tip, we we get better example. Like if even that close, you're getting countered. Now our saving grace for this is that we do have our heavy slash where we can block afterwards, which is another one of uh, another move that we use for our setups. But still, I just want the 2D to be safe on block. 
because it sucks that we have to switch up our playstyle. Because most of the time, at least for me, I'm looking for the kick to the sweep, standing kick, or two kick to sweep. And I, I just know that if the opponent knows that they can overdrive after that, it's going to be a rough time. And it sucks to have to change up your, your playstyle because somebody can counter you so easily. And I know it sounds greedy. And I know you might say, oh no, that might make Jackal too powerful. It might be too over the top. But come on now. Just just think to yourself, this chick right here in front of me, Mei, can do 80% of your health in one combo. And that's insane. So come on. Yeah, give at least we the least I can ask for is a, a safe sweep. A safe 2D. It's not it's not gonna break the game. It's not gonna be too crazy. And I'm, I'm, I guarantee you most people aren't even gonna notice it because most people don't even see jackals. And if we get something like that, maybe we can get more jackals in the tower. So who knows, man? And you know, that's 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 my biggest one. I would even take a nerf somewhere else just to get a safe 2D. As crazy as that sounds. It's, it, it's very important to me and it's something I want because it's a big part of my game plan. And those are the top 5 greedy buffs that I want for Jacko. And since you made it this far in the video, you might as well hit the like button for me and subscribe for daily fighting game content. And also come hang out at the discord, the link will be down in the description below. Let me know in the comments what buffs you would like for Jacko, no matter how small or how big. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.